Hi everyone, Ben from Latitude Motorhomes here. Gonna take you on a walk through the latest Element 27 to be completed. So the Element 27 is based on the Iveco 70C210 chassis. So it's got 155 kilowatts, 470 newton meters of torque. And we also get it with the eight speed auto, airbag suspension, the diff lock, and the three option packs that you can get from Iveco. So that includes things like lane departure warning, radar cruise, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and lots of other safety and tech features. So that's a good thing. Now the Element 27 is around 8.5, 8.6 meters long. This particular one has been altered for the customer to give us a little boot, which you'll see in a moment. So looking at the front, touch bar here at the front, that's standard. I've actually got part of the 360 camera system just on the front here as well. So that's definitely a, a nice feature to have, which makes it a lot easier for you to maneuver your motorhome around and also assist with blind spot when you're driving. So the electric warning, this has got a, a Bluetooth app as well as a wind sensor. So if it does pick up and get windy, it'll pack itself away. Double entry step. We'll go all the way around the outside first and then we'll go inside a little bit later. So starting with the storage bins, first one here is only small, but what it's got is it's got the generator fuel tank. So this is convenient. This is around 34 litres in capacity and conveniently located right next to the diesel filler here, unleaded here. So you're not having to maneuver your motorhome around to fill these two up. You can just do it quite easily. You can also see the access here the manual override on the slide out so if you ever needed to manually override this it's very simple to do with what a an allen key tool there for you to wind that in and there's another winder in the rear battery bin as well so you'll see any of the locks that are on here any locks that are the same will be keyed the same so we make that extra effort to make your life easier with that plenty of outside lights the graphics i like on this one so the feature color there called Apollo Blue and it's got quite a nice blue metallic flake in it which I think you can see there it's good and this is a new feature that we've just started offering so an outside drawer which we've all seen before for storage and these customers wanted additional fridge space so the beauty of these fridges is you can alter it to be a fridge or a freezer so it's around 36 litres in capacity. You set the temperature where you like and you can still control this from the red arc screen inside as well. So you can turn it on and off from in there. Or again, like a lot of things nowadays, this has got a Bluetooth app for your phone. So that's nice. Nice and easy to use latches there. All those chrome colored latches are all remote centrally locked. More storage. So this bin here houses the outside television and there's also room for a barbecue there if you'd like to add a barbecue. Again, super easy to use. Very nice. Outside PowerPoint. Fold down table, again, more standard features. You've got your twin gas bottles. So they're on a slide. They come out for easy access. Your bayonet point. Part of the uh, latest Iveco with the wheels is they come with a factory fitted, in our option pack anyway, uh, tire pressure monitoring system. So on the dashboard, it'll tell you what the tire pressures are. We still keep the little extensions there, so it is easy for you to top up your tire pressures if you need to. And the nice covers too. Next storage locker. Now this particular one is for the batteries. And there's a bit of engineering that goes in behind where we place things like batteries, generators, water tanks and such. Uh, it's got a lot to do with weight balance. 
So, for example, if you were to put all the heavy things on one side, like the slide out and then all of these other heavy accessories, you could end up with a lot of weight on one side of the vehicle, which can affect the safety and performance and things like tire wear. So this is the standard configuration on the Element 27. It's got a single 200 amp hour lithium battery, 2000 watt inverter, the Red Art control system and digital switching. So very easy for you to use as a customer, good reliable information and an Australian product too. So that's what we absolutely love. All nicely labeled, easy to access, very nice. The latest specifications on the Element 27 actually have a 300 amp hour battery. So if you order one now, that's what you'll get. And for customers that have got orders in, you can upgrade that. It's not really not needed, but it's nice to have more. All right, round to the back. So like I said earlier, this one's been customized a little bit. What they've actually done, They've had us make the body 250 millimeters longer, 25 centimeters longer, and recess the spare tire. And so the overall length is approximately the same as the standard Element 27. Makes the build a little bit more complicated, but for these guys, it was worth it. So they end up with this massive big boot area. It's only like 10 inches, 25 centimeters deep. But for them, it's a very good specific storage. Not that there's not plenty of storage already on this model. And again, those nice chrome locks are all remotely locked. And the rear bumper bar, like all of our lower storage bins, this is actually aluminium. So nice and solid. And you'll notice it's a separate piece if we look in here closely. So if you do ever damage this, it's much easier to repair than some of the plastic bumpers. Continuous hot water system there. Recessed spare tire. So again, that normally we have a, a rear mounted tire with a nice hard cover on it. This particular one has been altered. Got a slide out, that's awesome. So I've said it before, but one thing that really sets our motorhomes apart is the slide out. So obviously the strength and rigidity and ease of maintenance, all those things, but for the end, customer one of the big things they love about it is the fact that the storage bins come out with the slide out so you're not reaching under there to gain access to those storage lockers <coughs> you got more storage here obviously it comes with all the hoses and things that you need and you can see the generator here as well the generator standard with the amount of solar we've got on the roof, got 720 watts of solar, there's not much need for a generator. But if you do want to run your air conditioning, for example, while you're free camping, it's about the only time that people run it. Even on, you know, cloudy days, the solar is enough that it'll generally replenish um, anything that you've used, which is good. And obviously in sunny days, it's more than enough to access into the back uh, toilet area here. So if you've got a cassette toilet in your build, this will be the access to the cassette. If not, like this one, this has got the marine flushing toilet. We still have the access door there. So it gives us serviceability access and it's a good spot to put, you know, hand sanitizer, gloves, that kind of stuff there as well. You've got your water filler to fill up your 310 litre fresh water and your town pressure point. Nicely located on the side there, power inlet. So all your service hookups, or in this back section here, which is nice. Awning on top of the slide out, keeps the leaves and whatnot off the roof. You can see the wind guard antenna. Now these guys actually opted to delete the standard satellite system, which is happening surprisingly a little bit more with the push more towards the streaming services through internet connection. That seems to be where people are going more and more. All right, so more access under here. So this goes in under the bed. Tons of space under here. And you'll see we've got a power point, as well as a 12 volt socket up there. And again, that's all standard. I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but the design of the bed originally, height wise, 
was made so that if you wanted to, you can fit up to a 100 litre Waco fridge freezer under there. With that new drawer system though, that might not be as needed as it once was, but if you want more and more fridge space for those really long trips where you're really getting away from everyone, you've got plenty of fridge area. Here's another one of those cameras. So that's part of that 360 camera system. So the way that works is there's a computer we have to calibrate and it ties all the four images together to give you an all around view, essentially like a bird's eye view of the, um, of the motorhome when you're traveling and parking and maneuvering. More storage, this is in under the bed, uh, under the lounge I should say. So this one you'll see when we go inside is the L-shaped lounge, which is probably the most popular model. I think we do more of those than the dinette. Great storage, heaps of storage. And again, being that three millimeter aluminium that's NC laser cut and folded, means that it's super strong, the seals line up, everything's accurate, it's beautiful, and we're not worried about strength in any way, shape or form. Fridge vents on the outside. This is great shape here. Side step, beautifully finished off there. Nice powder coated edge with the polished top. You can see the leveling legs underneath. Um, you see here as we unlock it, a little courtesy light comes on. So in the daytime it doesn't look like that bright, but at night it lights up this whole step area just nicely. Beautiful van. All the new owners are excited to come and see this. Before they do, I'll show you through the inside as well. All right, let's take a look inside. As we come up to the doorway, you'll notice the Dometic entry door. Now these are a separating door, so you've got the option to have the airflow there with the outer screen open. The dual electric step. So that's just a push button in and out. If you do happen to leave it out, it'll pack itself away if you start the ignition, so you can't go driving off down the road with it out. The beauty of that too is that because it's a double step it packs up higher so it's protected up underneath the body better. In your lower step here you got a little shelf there where you can leave your thongs, shoes, umbrella holders under there which is cool and the courtesy light on the side there you can see it lights up blue and that links to the lights in the bottom of the kitchen to give you a little bit of lighting if you come back and it's a bit dark and late and you don't want to turn all the lights on. We're coming up, you can see a beautiful colour scheme in here. We've gone for the slate grey and metallic white, actually I think it's arctic white cabinets. So this is the L-shaped lounge model, which is really our most popular one I think uh, in the element range. We, we do a few dinettes and you'll see if you jump across to our YouTube channel you can see some videos of the dinette one if you're interested in that. You've got the platinum silver splashbacks, 32 inch TV, great big kitchen. You really got to be in here to appreciate the size of this kitchen. It's around two and a half meters long. So it's that scale that really people are kind of amazed by when they see a Meridian for the first time in the flesh. The bed's a full queen width. Nice big lounge. So we'll do a quick run through and then we'll go into some more detail. And through to the bathroom in the back. Nice big shower. Back here you've got a washing machine which I'll show you in a moment. They've got the flushing marine toilet here which is nice. And just do that alteration on the back instead of the window on the back and the mirror on the left there. It's had to be done the opposite way for them.
All right, so let's give some more detail from the front. So, two swivel seats. Now these are trimmed in the leather color of your choice, which looks really nice. This is the gun barrel color, which is probably the most popular one. You'll see if you watch a few of our videos, you'll see a lot of them are done in this color, but there's probably 40 different leather colors to choose from. It's genuine automotive grade, real leather too. So when you touch it, it's got quite a resilient feel, but it's, it's that nice softness as well. So the Iveco vehicle, got the electric handbrake, automatic transmission, all the new tech from there, the new screen. So like I mentioned earlier, it's got the Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, built-in navigation. Very nice. You got your lane departure warning and diff lock buttons down the bottom there. Moving up, it's not on at the moment obviously, but you can check out the YouTube channel for other videos with the 360 camera in operation. That's a 10.1 inch screen. Gives you a great view. I've got that set up with a couple of different um, viewing angles too, so you can see your reversing very easily, your 360 view very easily. The red foot leveling system that we fit standard on these. So you can control it from here. There's also an app on your phone. You can link up if you wanna do it from your phone. Show off to your mates. This is all in that same leather material too, so really nice to touch. Very well finished. And we've got the insulated and padded hood lining as well. And this is actually a panel with an insulating layer between it and the front header. Lots of storage on the vehicles currently being ordered. There's a door on here as well. The reading lights are nice. They've got a night light model in the blue and then the full bright. The front pantry here. So the first thing you see here is obviously this nice appliance slash coffee area. So it's got the lift up door. And slide out drawer. There's a power point in behind there too. So if you've got your coffee machine, toaster, kettle, whatever, you plug it in there and it can live there permanently. All the latches lock automatically. These are solid stainless steel. So no relying on little plastic clips or magnets or anything like that. Everything's soft close. Look at that, beautiful. That's a cupboard space. So you control for your awning. And then, as is standard in all of our models, we really utilize drawers a lot. And just like everything we use, it's basically the best you can buy. So undermount drawer runners, top of the range Blum draw box systems. And like I said before, the beautiful solid stainless steel latches. Look at that. All right, fridge, 216 litre Dometic compressor 12 volt fridge. Nice big freezer. You'll probably see on the video there the uh, the, the freezing air coming out of that. We do like these fridges a lot, actually. And like you saw outside, this one's got the outside fridge in the drawer too, so they're certainly not short on fridge space. And with the amount of solar on board, they're not short on power. All right, L-shaped lounge again, in that same leather that you've chosen, you've probably seen by now few options with the trim. This has got standard. You've also got the diamond stitching. A drawer underneath. Nice big drawer space there. Look at that. Actually, while you're here, you can see the late bracket for the table. Very robust, very secure. So that leg for the table goes up and down and, and spins. And if you notice, it's offset. So when you turn it, it actually comes away from the lounge area to create a coffee table effect. More overhead cupboards, see little ring lights everywhere there as well. So again, these beautiful solid stainless steel latches. All the overhead cupboards. Nice hidden mechanisms, lots of space, non-slip matting. All right, now let's have a look at the kitchen. A great big kitchen, two and a half meters long, plenty of space there. 
beautifully integrated range hood into the cabinetry. Just works in so seamlessly. All right, so let's look at the sink. So stainless steel, you've got your separate draining tray, chopping board, nice big sink there. Obviously with the continuous hot water, you're not gonna run out of hot water. You've got your water filter tap there and a separate spout. Now, like everywhere else, we've got the top of the range plum drawer system. And in this case too, we've also got the Blum insert. So these come standard with the model. You've got the, this nice um, soft touch, any slip surface on the cutlery tray and the foil and clean wrap dispenser there as well. Great big drawers. These are 550 millimeters or over half a meter deep. Space. So we've got the um, oven, grill and stove cooktop combo. You can get these with three gas burners or in this case it's got the one electric and two gas. Alright, range hood built in beautifully and the way this is designed it doesn't take up any overhead cupboard space which is nice so it ducks directly outside through a little cavity that we've got in the back there and if you go back and have a look at the outside videos you can probably spot the vent and again beautiful soft clothes solid latches and when we designed these cupboards we actually considered the size of plates and bowls and such to make sure that most of those items that you might put up here will fit nicely Extra shelf in that one, so that's standard. Again, soft clothes, beautiful. Lots of power points. A 32 inch Samsung Smart TV. And this is on this neat bracket system. Which is one hand here, I can pull this out. Very easily. So now we've got great viewing from the front area, from the swivel seats, or obviously if you're sitting back in the lounge there. And then to put that back for traveling, you literally just two hands, push it back. Two clicks and you're in. Super easy. So I've still got the shelf up the top here, so if they've got any accessories they wanna fit. Obviously normally the uh, satellite receiver box is up there, but you might have some other bits you wanna there We've got the microwave under the bench here plenty of ventilation around that too nice and securely mounted all right let's look at the bed so we'll look at the red arc screen we go back towards the front but you've got the second red arc screen here which is nice so both from both the screens as well as the app on your phone you can turn all your various bits and pieces kitchen lights lounge lights on and off you can see your battery level your water tank levels and if you want to go into more detail you can go across and see how much power you're producing from the solar and such as well so that's really cool some data logging across here so if you're really interested in that stuff you can uh, look at it all or if you're not you can just turn your things on and off and know that you've got really good information there to uh, keep your batteries and, and water in check that's good more overhead cupboards above lots of storage space in this motorhome we've really gone and designed lots of it in there. Nice bedside tables. Beside each bed, you've got your dual USB point and your double power point there. So the USBs run directly off 12 volts, so you don't need your inverter on to charge your phone when you're free camping. I've added a Sirocco fan, which is nice. So the bed lifts up on gas struts to access your storage, of which there is tons of storage, which is great. You can see they've got the solar screens there. All right, wardrobes. Oh, above the wardrobe, got the Fusion Audio. And they've got the outside speakers added on this one too. So that's a nice unit, very easy to control multiple zones. So inside, outside. Great wardrobe space. Again, with those beautiful solid stainless steel latches. Lots of 
lots of drawers. Beautiful. It's all drawers all the way down there. Into the bathroom. So you've got that flushing toilet, which is nice. The extra heat event in the floor there, so you can heat your bathroom off the four kilowatt heater. More overhead space. See, so we've got some accessories there to fit when they arrive today. Nice sink set up. Again, drawers wherever we can. It's nice. It's little things like this that really set our design apart. See the way the drawer clears the toilet? Perfect. And then this lower section is a cupboard, which gives us access to the hot water system in the event that it ever needs servicing, as well as some convenient space there for storage. And a washing machine. It's accessible if you ever needed to from the front cupboard here, but for normal use, you're just sliding the bench across to access that. Additional light switch here for the light in the bathroom. So you don't have to go to your touch screen to control that. Now in the, uh, oh, we've got the travel lock here. So when you're driving, you just pull that across. Now this actually gives you privacy in here by closing that across. And we can also see how big the shower is now. You might not get an appreciation for the size of the shower, but I can assure you it's huge. We've got a molded in stool or seat there in the corner. The soap dispenser, black clothes line up there. Obviously your shower head, shower mixer. Very good. And people are always surprised when they open this door exactly how large this is. Lines up beautifully. All right, I think we're just about done for the inside, guys. Now, we've got lots of content on YouTube and social media. So if you want to browse through some of our videos, the easiest way is to uh, shoot over to YouTube on your big smart TV. You can go through, there's all different colors shown there, different models, different variations. So you can get a good feel for the range of, of what we do. And also there's some small videos with the individual features like the 360 camera and such. Oh, before we go, we'll just have a look at the power system a little bit more. So, easily accessible here, just right next to the doorway. You've got your heater control, slide it in and out. Touch screen for the red arc, which is easy to use. And then your generator, just there. Alright, one more look back. Beautiful motorhome. Oh, I'm sure these guys are excited to pick it up. We'll see you on the next video and any questions in the meantime, reach out on any of the social media platforms or even the old fashioned way of um, picking up the phone and giving us a call. All right guys, have a fantastic day. Thank you, bye.